at ShaneStars with DroidMotorX.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to update to the latest version of Android on your Nexus 7. As you guys know, 4.2.2 dropped earlier this week. Some people have been running into major headaches uh, trying to get to that over-the-air update from a custom ROM or even if you are totally stocked, which you've had a custom recovery in the past, it can be kind of wonky. Um, this is the easiest way to get there. Of course, to do this, you'll need to be unlocked, rooted, and have a custom recovery installed. A stock 4.2.2 rooted uh, ROM has been provided and so I'm going to show you guys how to flash that real quick. Obviously if you're running purely stock and you've never uh, flashed a recovery or anything you can just go to the app drawer and settings and you would go to about tablet and system updates. You'll check that it'll find the system update and you'll select OK to update that way. Um, that is an easy way to do it if you're completely stock. If you're not completely stock, if you're running a custom ROM or you have custom recovery installed, this is the best way to install the 4.2.2 update. As far as what's been updated here, the change log was put out. It's mostly a bug fixing build. This is pretty much paving the way for uh, Keyline Pi. Keyline Pi should be the next Android version that is released. There's not a lot of extra features built into 4.2.2. It was a very small update. I think it's like 25 megabytes, so we weren't really expecting a whole lot out of this update. I think in the toggles, if you press and hold the Wi-Fi, it'll toggle that on and off. Same thing with the Bluetooth, so that is a nice feature that's been added. Okay, so we'll go ahead and install this. We just want to go ahead and reboot into recovery. So to do that, we'll go ahead and power off our device. Once our device is powered off, we need to boot into recovery, so the way that we'll do that is both volume buttons and the power button. Okay, and then we'll scroll down to recovery mode, select the power button. That should boot us into our recovery. Okay, so once we're booted into recovery, it'll be just like installing any other ROM. I will wipe data factory reset swipe to wipe we'll go back wipe cache wipe Dalvik cache and then we'll install our ROM so we're looking for this grouper there's two versions there's either Deodex or Odex and they're both rooted so we'll go with the Odex version and swipe to flash so you'll head to the link in the description to download this ROM. You don't have to worry about GFs. They're included in the ROM since it is a stock image. Okay, so when you're finished, you will be at this successful screen here. And from there, you can just reboot. I did want to mention that if you are running a stock ROM, uh, you're not running a custom ROM like CyanogenMod 10 or AOKP or whatever, you can actually get by without wiping data. Um, I prefer to always wipe data, and you'll probably save yourself some headaches if you just go ahead and wipe data. But I just did want to note that if you were running a stock ROM, then you should be okay without a data wipe. But anyways, we'll go ahead and reboot the system. And so now we're running Android 4.2.2 on our Nexus 7. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Nexus 7 and other devices. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.